I'm not really concerned. Huh? I'm really concerned. Oh. Is, is there a reason why you guys walk down here? Yeah, we got a, uh, this is, we got a post down there we got to do. But no, where do you walk? You all way, all way down to the end is a fence down there. Well, no, I understand, but you can yeah. drive on the sidewalk. No, no, the company don't want us to take it off the property. We but can't that's take not it. on the property, off the property. I know, but that's what, that's, that's, you had to say that up with the, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Elsa, whatever his name. So Elsa said they can't do it. Okay, they take it off the front. So Jim Ellsworth said that they can't take this off the property, but <laughs> the sidewall. Yeah, I know. But it's been like, it's been like that ever since I've been here. I've been since I've been here. There's an emergency. Yeah, they have to wait till we get back. <laughs> way down there. And how would you get to them? You gotta come back here and get the car and go. But how how would you do that? What do you mean? The the way down there? No, no. How would you drive off? Drive off where? With that. No, I mean you mean down there? Once you get back here. Well, it depends on where where wherever the car is at. Well, no, how how could you drive this off? Try to drive it off right now is what he's trying to tell you. I mean, the key's in there. Unless somebody took it out. You took the keys out? Yeah. Oh. Wait. All right, the man. I mean, if you're if you're going if you're going to put us at risk, uh -huh. if your company uh -huh. and the board of directors of Forest Lake County Home Association are going to put us at risk, uh -huh. not your fault. Right. You're doing a good job. Yeah. It's the idiots that are on the Forest Lake Townhouse Association uh -huh. that are putting us at risk. No, I, I mean, I left the key. I left the key in. I mean, but nobody we take it out, but I just left the key in that time because I don't agree. Well, I'm doing it all the way in. Yeah, but I'm just saying, right there. Well, I that's, mean, that's but, a block down the block. Right. I mean, but, I mean how far are they going to go on the cart? No, no. Except for right around here. Why would they steal the cart? That's what I'm saying. But they stole the keys. I just we, we got we got we got both keys in there. Too. Well yeah, so but now is. but now I've got keys to <laughs> all kinds of stuff. You only got the keys to the ship. That's the only thing that key is. Right, but if there was an emergency now. Yeah, but I don't know. You how, said you got keys to everything else. Okay. You only got a key to that. Because the association won't let you drive right. down there. They are putting our lives at risk, and they're putting your okay. life at risk. Well, I understand that they're putting but that's your life at risk. But that's something y'all had to bring up. I mean, oh, I, I try. I, I, oh, okay, but this is my last week here with y'all anyway. <laughs> well, how come you're leaving? I, oh, medical reasons. I'm sorry. Yeah. You've been doing a good job. Thank you. If it wasn't you, uh -huh. you wouldn't get the damn keys back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that straight up. Yeah, and right. I can show you why I said that before you came up. Right. When I came out and I saw you walking, uh -huh. I knew who it was. Right. And I said, I don't want to mess with him. Uh -huh. If it had been the other guy, uh -huh. it wouldn't have been a key here. Right. I mean, I'd have just taken off. Right. I probably would have driven that. Uh -huh. I'm going down the street. <laughs> but if the board is making policy that puts uh -huh. your life at risk, right. Because you should never be out of that place where you're on the side. Right. Never. That's part of your protection. Because that carries the badge for the as, as a certified peace officer. Okay? If a company or the company that you work for puts your life at risk, they normally do that. That's called contributory negligence. Do you know who could be liable then? No, no, no. Us. I wonder something. If something happened to you, let's say a couple of three gang kids come out and they jump you. Now they're probably not going to jump you if you're in here, but if right. you're out walking, right. you're not armed. Right. I understand. You could be in a you, your right. life could be at risk uh -huh. because of the policies of the board. And that's my concern. Right. Right. Because we then would be liable. I'd feel really bad. Also, the child. 
I would be tremendously upset if something happened to you because of this damn board policy. Right. So now that we have it documented, uh -huh. we have a meeting Thursday. Now, they're probably going to... I mean, what's your schedule? That's good. Yeah. Well, I come in. Well, I'm Thursday. I'm off on Thursday. <laughs> I'm all, I'm, all, I'm all, after when I I only come in Wednesday. I'm gonna come in tomorrow, do eight, and I come in Wednesday, do four, and then I come in Saturday and Sunday. And but then that's it. That's it. But see, but but see, the difference between me and the rest of these, God, I retired from the service. So you, so, want, you understand, <laughs> right? Yeah. But them the guys, they, they have no concept, right? <laughs> I mean, that, that little twerk that runs around in the daytime. He scares hell out of me. Yeah, I know, I know. He, he, sca he that. scares hell out of me. <laughs> well, who, who is trying? If you're leaving, mm -hmm. and you've only been here Since I seven go. months. Since I go. Uh -huh. Okay. It'll be eight months into this month or whatever you came out right. October. Who has trained the person that's going to take your place? They hadn't even had nobody yet. That's why they called me this morning. And ask me, could I stay until they find somebody? So not only are you going to be leaving, mm -hmm. the company is so small they don't even have someone that can be brought out and trained. Yeah. And you understand why that right, really right, upsets right. us is the fact that we're going to have somebody in here. You're not going to be here, and you've right. only had a few months training. And it takes six months to a year to really understand this place and know every car that comes in and out and all of this. And they don't let you drive down through there. Right. They don't give you the support. And now we don't even not even going to have a trained individual in. Most interesting. Appreciate it, guys. Right, no if I don't get to talk to you before you leave. Thank you for the hard work that you've done. And, and you do understand also right, right. about having to touch that little battery. Uh, it's worthless. Right. It is absolutely. The only time I really hate going down there is 3 4 in the morning on a Saturday night. You know, people been well, drinking not, and everything. It's not just there. Huh? The only thing. I used to be a security advisor for the largest security company in Kansas. I spent 40 plus years training military special operations teams, tier one people, SEALs, Rangers, Delta, those kind of people. The only thing that it does when you take this around and touch it is just say, you touch You've it. You've been there. That's all it's That's all it's Right. Do they get GPS? Yeah, on this one, they do. This is the only one that got it. The other, one the other one doesn't have GPS. Right. And all that does is just tell you mm -hmm. where it was at a certain it's time. time. But it doesn't tell you anything else. You guys don't keep logs. You don't do anything. Just drive around. Are you going to be retired from the car right? No, I'm, I'm just like on call. Oh, so you're not But see, I, I get it. Like I, like I say, I get a check from the government anyway. Yes, sir. But being that I'm a doctor, they asked me to stay off my feet. So that's why I'm quitting. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, you shouldn't, for one, you shouldn't be walking around the property at any time. Right. Because if, if we had, let's say, an older woman, because we had a lot of older folks here, right. if they were to fall, be able to get to a phone, call for, for help, and you're happy. Yeah, so you got some folks. Or heaven forbid, left the phone in there and in here, you couldn't get to it. Now, I'm, I'm saying this uh -huh. not because I'm upset with you. One, your company has never trained you to the level you need to be trained. Yeah. They never have. I know. I, 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 just, I just was asked to, to uh, consider moving to Australia on a $20 million contract for two major airports where is it? Not, not uh, Indonesia. Uh, PNG. Uh, Papua New Guinea. Oh, yeah. And, uh, to go over and train military forces to guard the airport. I used to be the security advisor here. 
But these idiots are being ordinary. My God. I can't believe they are putting you at that kind of risk. That bothers me. I mean, they put us at risk all the time. But they put you guys at risk too. Anyway, we'll take care of the All right. Yeah, we'll see you later. Okay. Have a good one. All right.